dear students today i'm going to take up a video lecture on uh, cost and management accounting unit number six reconciliation statement uh, in this uh, video lecture i would like to uh, try to give some idea about three important aspects number one is about a reconciliation statement number two is about why reconciliation statement is prepared and number three is about uh, how this reconciliation statement has been prepared number one what is reconciliation statement under non-integrated accounting system the financial accounting records and cost accounting records are kept in isolation without having any contact with each other due to this uh, there could be a differences between the account uh, profit shown in financial accounting records and profit shown in cost accounting records uh, a statement in order to reconcile the profit shown in financial accounting records and cost accounting records is prepared at the end of the financial year so such a statement is called reconciliation statement now why this reconciliation statement is prepared what is the need of reconciliation statement the reconciliation statement is prepared uh, due to the inherent differences between the treatment of items in financial accounting records and cost accounting records what are the uh, major differences causes for differences major causes of causes for differences of items are five number one is purely financial items number two is purely costing item number three is uh, uh, under absorption or over absorption of overheads number four is uh, under charging or over charging of depreciation number five is uh, differences in valuation of inventory so let's look into the number one purely financial item certain items like preliminary expenses goodwill return of interest on investment transfer fees interest on uh, debentures etc are appearing only in financial accounting records whereas such items doesn't form part of, of uh, costing records due to this uh, there will be difference between financial profits and costing profit number two purely costing item certain items which is forming part of only cost accounting statement the items are in items are rent on one building it's called nostal rent in financial accounting records the actual expenses incurred are recorded whereas in financial in uh, cost accounting the imputed cost is also been recorded imputed cost is also called as not out of pocket cost that is cost actually not paid out of pocket but it is imputed for example if the owner has got his own building he, he will start his operation from his own premises and he will calculate a rent based on uh, the similar uh, building in such a place fetch a certain rent based on that the rent is been calculated such a rent is called nostal rent number three is uh, over absorption or under absorption of overhead over absorption of under absorption of overhead refers to in financial accounting overheads are charged actual basis the actual overhead overheads are recorded on historical accounting basis whereas in cost accounting overheads are recorded based on a predetermined rate the overheads are normal overheads are factory overheads administration overheads selling and distribution overheads the next item of differences between for profit shown in financial accounting and cost accounting is uh, valuation of inventory inventory is valued in financial accounting records as per the accounting standard number two valuation of inventory which is based on market price or cost price whichever is lower whereas in cost accounting the inventory is recorded either based on fee for method leaf for method or weighted average cost method due to which there will be differences between these two sets of profits number last number is about uh, depreciation treatment in financial accounting depreciation is charged either return down value method or straight line method method whereas in cost accounting dep de depreciation is charged either on written down value method or on uh, diminishing value method or on straight line method or on uh, some of the years digit method due to which there will be a difference between profits in financial accounting records and cost accounting records and these are the uh, causes for differences now we will go to the, the final aspect the actual preparation of uh, reconciliation statement uh, the reconciliation statement is prepared uh, based on three steps formula number one is you have to take any one of the profit either costing profit or profit uh, financial profit as a base next you have to add certain items which reduce the base profit and detect the items which uh, add the items which uh, uh, increase the base profit and reduce the items which 
in, uh, decrease the uh, base profit. Number one, the items uh, uh, we will take uh, costing profit as a base. If you take costing profit as a base, uh, then we will have to add those items which reduce costing profit. The items which reduce costing profit are purely financial income, purely financial income like commission, interest on investment, uh, commission received, uh, rent received, etc. is only forming part of financial accounting records so that has to be added similarly uh, expenses overcharged in purely costing items such as uh, notional rent and notional capital so notional interest has to be added similarly over absorption of overhead in cost accounting like factory overhead administration overhead selling and distribution overhead which has to be added the next is uh, opening stock if it is overvalued in cost accounting it has to be added and closing stock if it is undervalued in cost accounting it has to be added if depreciation is charged excess in cost accounting that has to be added so the items uh, which has to be reduced from uh, costing profit are the items in fact which increase costing profit that has to be deducted uh, number one is expenses charged only in financial accounts expenses charged only in financial accounts are income tax paid goodwill return off etc which reduce uh, costing profit so which uh, actually in increase costing profit has to be deducted similarly uh, we have to deduct uh, under absorption of overhead of uh, factory overhead uh, administration overhead and selling and distribution overhead uh, the other items to be deducted is uh, if under charging of depreciation if depreciation charge in cost accounting is lesser than financial accounting that has to be uh, actually directed here and the finally uh, if opening stock is undervalued and closing stock is overvalued that has to be directed so after directing all these items we finally arrive at a profit as per financial accounting so this is what the reconciliation statement is all about so finally i would like to uh, bring the students notice that uh, the question might arise in this chapter uh, six marks questions can be asked of 12 marks or 24 marks six marks questions will be having only two or three items in that you, you need to you need to add or reduct and finally get the if you take the costing profit you have to take the financial profit whereas um, the 12 marks can be uh, the same question can be asked for 12 marks with the more adjustments maybe 10 or 12 items and finally they may ask for 24 marks in which uh, you'll be asked to prepare uh, Costing cost sheet, financial statement, and finally, you may have to prepare reconciliation statement as well. So, this is all about reconciliation statement. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, in case if you